Kate Spade's death has shined a light on the difficult issue of suicide. And we want to continue that conversation with our chief medical correspondent, Dr. Jen Ashen. And Jen, I know this issue hit home for you last year, something you haven't talked about before uh, on the air, and that is the suicide of your ex-husband. Right, George. And, you know, there's so much that we can talk about in terms of prevention and how complex a disorder suicide is and how we still don't understand a lot. There is, of course, recovery and treatment uh, for the person that's suffering. But I really wanted to help people understand the, the second tragedy that happens to the family that's left behind, not just, you know, obviously thinking about Kate Spade's young daughter and, and her husband, but people who are affected by suicide and are really the survivors. And I'm embarrassed to say, George, when it hit my family as a doctor, I didn't know a lot about it, despite the fact that it had affected three of my really close friends. Um, 20 years ago, I didn't know anyone who was affected by suicide, and now that list is sadly growing. Um, but you know, it leveled us. It leveled me. Uh, my children were 16 and 18 at the time, and I was totally unprepared for the physical and emotional trauma that comes in the wake of that. And I can only imagine how difficult it was not only for you, but for your children as well. And I do understand that they, they, they okayed your decision to come talk about this today. How did you all get through this together? They did okay it, George, and I'm so proud of them for that. Um, you know, the first thing is within 24 hours, we were all seated in our therapist's office on, on a Sunday afternoon. We all went through a lot of therapy, both together and individually, and we're continuing to do that. Um, I've told my children that will be a part of the rest of our lives because there is a lot of shame and blame and guilt and anger uh, that affects the people who live through suicide and are affected by it. And we didn't want that to become a secondary tragedy in this. Um, my whole focus as I was affected by this tragedy was keeping my stuff together for my children because I certainly never expected to be a, a solo parent for the rest of my life. And as any parent who's dealing with any crisis knows, your children look to you when they're struggling. And so that, that was, was and is my primary focus. And when you think about the lessons that come from all this hard, hard lessons, uh, one of the most important destigmatizing mental illness. So important, George. You know, I, I always say we should think of this no differently than heart disease or cancer, but mental illness does not discriminate. You know, my ex-husband was a physician. I'm a physician. For us, it came out of the blue. Sometimes there are warning signs, but this affects everyone. And uh, having that destigmatization is key so that we can bring awareness in a way that doesn't just happen when this affects a celebrity and is more proactive and not reactive. Um, and sometimes with mental illness, you know, if you can't see it, people think it's not as serious, but this is not a choice and this is real. And the more we can deal with it, the better and the more lives will be saved. And I just have to believe that you sharing your story today will help in that effort as well to dis just to completely destigmatize the illness and suicide. Jen, thanks a lot so, for George. sharing us. Uh, if you know someone who's struggling with these issues, you can go to our website, goodmorningamerica.com, for information on how to help. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.